Hey, Possumites. I'm going to play you a waltz by Liz Carroll in A called Pat and Possum's Waltz. Uh, Charlie mentioned on a big fiddle show in early December that Liz had just published this new collection of her tunes, which I bought the next day, and I promptly saw this tune. According to the end notes, she hasn't uh, recorded the tune. So I, uh, I'm not good at reading dots. I had to make some guesses at how I thought she might approach the tune and how fast or slow she'd play it. And this is uh, my best guess what I came up with. I'll follow that up with, I know this isn't an Irish session, but um, I'm playing an Irish waltz. I'll play an Irish reel, which I like, the uh, Wise Maid in D. This is Barb Coons and Tom Duffy, two fists of the corn drinkers, and we're going to play a tune called the Silver Star Corn. All right.
Hey, this is Mary Alice Bernal. Joe Sartino. And we're in Rutherford County, just south of Nashville, Tennessee. We've got a great Lonnie Robertson tune for you here in A called Saddle Old Kate. Uh, but, but before we play it, we wanted to give a huge shout out to Charlie and Pat, all the hard work that they do, all the live casts, all the teaching videos that they put up on Patreon.com, $4 a month. $4 a month. I ask you, where can you go to get a lesson for $4? Joe? I don't know. Nowhere. <laughs> Nowhere. All right. Thanks for keeping old time tunes alive, everybody. And uh, thanks for letting us feel like we're a part of the best jam in the whole country every week. Saddle old Kate, everybody. Great jam tune. Let's see. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I don't think sad, I don't think Kate wanted to be saddled on that tune. Absolutely. Hi there. I'm Darren Goodman, coming to you from Fort Collins, Colorado, on a bright, sunny, snowy afternoon. It's just warm enough to be outside here, which is sure nice. Uh, I'm going to, uh, well first I'd like to say thank you to Pat and Possum for inviting me to play a tune for you. I'm going to attempt to play a uh, fiddle tune by Alabama fiddler Ralph Wyden. And this is a tune I really enjoy called Willow Creek. It's in the key of D. And uh, you can actually uh, find this one on the Field Recorders Collective. So here we go. Willow Creek.
Creek. There you have it. I hope everybody's doing well and that you've had a wonderful holiday season and that you're staying warm this winter. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Hey there, possumites. It's uh, Blake Cordy here in Highland, Illinois. Uh, gonna play some mountain dulcimer for you guys for the intro for this week's show. Charlie was uh, nice enough to ask me to make a little video, so I figured I, I would go ahead and do it. I got a snowy day off of work here, and uh, be a good time to play some music. So I've got my mountain dulcimer, and uh, this was actually the first instrument I learned how to play. Um, my grandma and her friends had a dulcimer club in Highland when I was growing up, so they played a lot of fiddle tunes on the dulcimer, uh, played a lot of old Stephen Foster songs, popular songs, things like that. Uh, it was it was a really cool way to start playing music with people, um, a really nice atmosphere for it, and I played some, I started off with dulcimer and then eventually started playing some guitar chords for some accompaniment and things like that and uh, my grandma got into playing American folk music a little later in life she uh, she was a German immigrant and played a lot of music before uh, but it was liturgical organ piano music for church and things like that that's a big part of their musical culture over there and uh, so when I was younger about you know, probably five six years old she started taking me along to some jams with her and her friends and we'd play at the local harvest festival and some nursing homes and things like that for the residents and I just kept playing always and I ended up going to school for music and uh, I don't think I would have done any of that if it weren't for the mountain dulcimer and playing music with my grandma and her friends. So I'm going to play a little bit of this song that everyone probably knows, and I'm going to play it as a tune. It's uh, called Jesse James, and uh, I learned it from this CD uh, here. Sugar in the Coffee, Bill Graves. Um, great CD. It's put out by the... Uh, Missouri State Old Time Fiddlers Association. It was recorded and produced by our very own Charlie Walden, so I figured it'd be a, a cool tune to play for this little intro. So let's see what happens.
enjoy the show. Howdy folks, this is Wichita coming to you from the hills of West Virginia. I'm here to try to take your mind off the pandemic for a few minutes by singing you a cheerful little ditty about food poisoning. You know, there's a renowned microbiologist who often watches the Big Fiddle Show. So chirps, if you're tuned in, this one's for you. In these days of indigestion, it is oftentimes a question as to what to eat, what to leave alone. For each microbe and bacillus has a different way to kill us And in time they'll always claim us for their own There are germs of every kind on any food that you will find In a market or a pound bill of fare Drinking water's just as risky as the so-called deadly whiskey And it's often a mistake to breathe the air For some little bug is going to find you someday some little bug will creep behind you some day Then he'll send for his bug friends and all your earthly trouble ends Some little bug is going to find you some day The inviting green cucumber has most everybody's number And the sweet corn has a system of its own While the radish seems nutritious, its behavior is quite vicious And a doctor will be coming to your home Eating lobster cooked or plain is only flirting with tomate, while an oyster often has a lot to say. And the clams we eat in chowder make the angels sing the louder, for they know that we'll be with them right away. For some little bug is going to find you someday, some little bug will creep behind you some. They eat that juicy sweet pineapple and a sextant dust the chapel. Some little bug is going to find you some day. When cold storage vaults I visit, I can only ask, what is it? Make some mortals fill their systems with such stuff. Now for breakfast, bacon's dandy, if a stomach pump is handy, and a doctor can be summoned soon enough. Eat a plate of fine pig's knuckles and the headstone cutter chuckles while the grave digger makes a mark upon his cuff. Eat that juicy red bologna and you'll wear a wood kimono while your relatives start scrapping over your stuff. Or some little bug is going to find you someday. Some little bug will creep behind you some day. Eat those apple fritters, every undertaker titters. Some little bug is going to find you some day. All those crazy foods they fix will float us across the river sticks, or send us climbing up the Milky Way. And those meals they serve in courses mean a hearse and two black horses. So before a meal, some people always pray. Luscious grapes cause appendicitis And their juice leads to gastritis So there's only death to smite us either way Fried liver's nice, but my dear friends Will soon ride slow behind you And the papers then will have nice things to say For some little bug is going to find you someday Some little bug will creep behind you someday Eat that sauce, they call it chili on your breast they'll place a lily Some little bug is going to find you some day <laughs> <laughs>